to say two or three years ago, probably 2011, um, we hooked up with the Orlando Hurling Group. Uh, found them on the internet and Facebook and stuff. And uh, started with just myself and my son whacking the ball around here and there. And uh, since then, we've uh, added uh, more people. And uh, I'm, I'm real pleased with the growth that we've had and uh, getting enough to get our own team and being able to travel. I think that's great to help uh, promote the sport and have a little fun with it as well. It's, it's been interesting because, you know, I really helped the Akron Club grow and now I'm kind of back to square one helping this, this club grow again. So it's good to have the experience to be able to bring them to the tables that I've already, you know, been in that integration point where it's like a team club that has definitely dedicated members but you're trying to grow the numbers to have enough to have two full teams to, to practice against. You know, you have the full scrimmage to start your city series where you're having, you know, one place of, of business sponsoring, you know, Team A, and then you have a lot of times in, in most city leagues around the country, it usually ends up being some kind of bar or restaurant, so whoever the home team is that day, you go out afterwards and have libations and some food and, and uh, have some good crack. And just hang out and have a good time with your, with your, with your teammates and friends. I first heard about hurling in Ireland. I was over in Dublin with the USF study broad trip and I uh, met up with a guy who actually hurls for the Dublin team and uh, he gave me my hurl and that was my first hurl that I'd ever seen or ever heard of and I uh, took it back with me over to the States and uh, went online just googled whatever hurling team was in the local Tampa Bay area and I checked with the USF first and didn't have anything but uh, afterward I found the Tampa Bay Hurling Club on Facebook. And from there, I met up with John Hanley. And John Hanley got me involved. And within within weeks, I was hurling. And uh, struggling and trying to get through the practices. Um, shortly thereafter, we had had a uh, major game. It was like their annual game. And did horribly, but it was a great learning experience. Um, ref pulled me aside and he's like, you know, you've got some skill, you just need to work on it. And I took that to heart and had been working as hard as I could ever since. Um, it's exciting. I think Florida has a lot of potential to be, you know, huge for the, for the game of hurling because we have so many like larger cities. We have uh, you know great population. We think we have some unique individuals we can tap into down here. It's just getting the word out. And I think the really the hardest thing about promoting hurling is that it's not on TV. It's not really on TV here in America yet. Um, so a lot of people when you do my, when they ask me like, well, I'll go out and I'll be wearing my jersey and people are like, are you a soccer player? Are you a rugby player? Like, what is that jersey? I'm like, it's curling. And they're like, and a lot of people do come back with like curling because they've seen that Olympics. I'm like, no, with an age, it's curling. Um, and usually I have to, you know, I whip up my phone and, and show them like, a, you know, a minute thirty clip from YouTube that you know that, that's that's been posted online. Uh, you just look up the, the fastest game on grass. I show people that, and, you know, wherever I'm at in public, and they're asking these questions to me, and they're like, oh, I get it. That's what you do now. I'm like, yes, it's very interesting. It's a lot of fun. So, I mean, I'm excited to be down here. Uh, it'd be great if I was a little younger in my, <laughs> my playing years, but I'm not giving up yet. It's like, it's, I mean, I'm still trying to play at a competitive level. Um, you know, I thought maybe after our last year's Nationals, I would stop trying to travel as much, but my club down here needs me and my experience uh, and my skill to help grow and, you know, and be a good player in the field.